whenever there is face value is not given you need to take the amount which is given before tax the formula is interest divided by net proceeds after tax interest divided by net proceeds 1 minus tax subscript cost of equity k subscript with e superscript and subscript you should understand Hello everybody, I am your Divya Ma'am, Assistant Professor from Department of Commerce and Management lecturing with Yashram First Grade College, Mysuru, the Temple of Excellence. A warm welcome to you all for the session 3 on your unit 1 that is cost of capital. So in the last class we have discussed the problems on irredeemable debenture before tax and after tax issued at a par premium and at a discount. So the session was very interesting. And in today's class, let us discuss more problems on debenture. Moving forward, the agenda for today's discussion, concepts and problems. So let us take up one more problem for your better understanding. So without any interruption, without any hiccups in your examination, you all need to solve the problems on cost of capital. So as I have told you, my dear students, 10 marks cost of debenture redeemable problem will be asked in your examination. So to understand redeemable problem first you need to understand irredeemable problem issued at a par issued at a discount and at a premium let us read the question problem number three a company issues 1 lakh 10 percent debenture the tax rate applicable to the company is 50 percent compute the cost of debt if the debenture were issued at a par premium of 10 percent and at a discount of 8% so that is the information given in the question for you all my dear students so here the net proceeds is not given I mean to say the direct face value of the shares are not given but they have given the amount the total amount of issuing of shares so it, their company has issued 1 lakh shares so that is the value they have given but they have not given the face value so in your examination if you all get the confusion regarding the face value and the issue whenever the face value is given you have to take the net proceeds you have to consider net proceeds as the face value but whenever there is face value is not given you need to take the amount which is given so 1 lakh into 10 percent so 1 lakh into 10 percent let's use the calculator and check out 1 lakh into 10 percent it is 10,000 so interest is how much interest is 10,000 net proceeds is 1 lakh and the tax rate is applicable 0.5 Compute the cost of debt issued at a par, issued at a premium 10%, issued at a discount. So let us calculate now issued at a par before tax and after tax. The formula is very clear to you all. Before tax, the formula is interest divided by net proceeds. After tax, interest divided by net proceeds 1 minus tax. So 1 minus tax comes first or after it is 1 in the same. So let us solve cost of debt. So we are solving issued at a par cost of debt before tax interest divided by net proceeds so interest is how much 10,000 net proceeds is 1 lakh the only difference you all have after tax 1 minus tax rate 1 minus tax rate into interest divided by net proceeds 1 minus tax rate is 0 0.5 interest is 10,000 divided by 1 lakh let's use the calculator and check out the answer so 10,000 divided by 1 lakh it is 0 0.1 or 10 percent here 0 0.5 into the answer will be 0.05 or 5%. This is the answer issued at a par that is before tax and after tax. Next issued at a premium. Premium is how much? Premium is issued at 10%. It is issued at 10%. So 1 lakh into 
10%, 1 lakh 10,000 will be the net proceeds. So, cost of debt is equal to interest is 10 lakh. Your net proceeds will be 1 lakh 10,000. Similarly, after tax, cost of debt is equal to 10,000. 1 lakh 10,000. 1 minus tax rate. So, this tax rate, if you take it before or after this, it is year if it comes or year it has come, it is 1 and the same. Anyhow, you can take up the formula. So, now let us substitute the value and check out the answer. 10,000 divided by 1 lakh 10,000. It is 0 0.090. Next, 10,000 divided by 1,10,000 into 0 0.5, it is 0 0.045. So, this is the answer we have issued at a premium 10%. Moving forward, issued at a discount. at 8% 8% discount rate so 1 lakh into 8% how much it will be 8000 1 lakh into 8% 8000 so 1 lakh 8000 uh, 1 lakh minus 8000 it will be how much since we are doing the discount it is 92000 net proceeds will be how much 92,000 cost of debt is equal to 92,000 is the net proceeds. Similar way after tax cost of debt is equal to 10,000 divided by 92,000 1 minus tax rate. So if you all do it what will be the answer? 10,000 divided by 92,000 it is 0 0.108. 0.108 is the answer. Next year cost of debt. It is 0.054. So this is how you calculate your cost of debt irredeemable problem. Moving forward, so problem number 4. It is also similar to problem number 3. For your better understanding, again I have taken one more problem to be solved. So, Sharada company issued rupees 5 lakh, 12% debenture. So, they have issued 5 lakh rupees at 12% interest rate. The tax rate is applicable to the company is 50%. Again, the tax rate will be 0 0.5. And compute the cost of debt if debenture were issued at a par and issued at a premium and issued at a discount of 5%. So, only the tax rates and your premium percent discount is changing in the problem. Rest everything is similar as we are doing from the problem number 1. So, let us take up the problem. First is issued at a par. Before tax, after tax. So, 5 lakh into 12 percent. 5 lakh into 12 percent, it is 60,000. 60,000 is the interest rate. Net proceeds is how much? Net proceeds is 5 lakh. What is the tax rate? Tax rate is 50%. 0 0.5 is the tax rate. So, let's substitute the formula. Cost of debt is equal to interest divided by net proceeds. Interest is 60,000. Net proceeds is 5 lakh. So, 60,000 divided by 5 lakh. It is 0 0.12 or 12%. So, this is how you calculate 
Next, after tax, cost of debt is equal to only the tax. We have to add it 1 minus tax in, into interest divided by net proceeds. 1 minus 0 0.5, 60,000 into 60,000 divided by 5 lakh. It is 0 0.06 or 6%. See my dear students, one more thing I, I wanted to tell you all. So while writing the subscriptions, you have to write it below cost of equity. It should be right below the letter cost of equity, cost of preference, cost of debt, cost of retained earnings. So while writing it will be somewhere equal. So now you have got the clarity, you should write it like this symbolically. So, it is a subscription. So, when it comes upward, it is superscript. It is superscript. This is subscript. Cost of equity. K subscript with E. Superscript and subscript you should understand. So, this is the answer. 12% and 6%. Next, Issued at a premium before tax and after tax. Issued at a discount before tax and after tax. You all have to do it because it's in homework for you all. And check out the answer. It is very easy and it's very simple for you all to understand in your examination. If you solve more and more problems. So in the next class, I will take up the problems on redeemable debenture. Hope the problems are very easy. So to compute the WAC table that we have. It is very important for you all to understand the specific cost calculation. So we are doing what? Specific cost calculation, cost of debenture and cost of debt is one and the same. So cost of debt calculation, irredeemable problem we have solved before tax and after tax issued at a par premium and at discount. So that's it my dear students. Hope the session was very interesting and fruitful. Keep on learning new things. Keep on upgrading your knowledge. The skill what you possess today will be the future for you tomorrow. So keeping this thought in mind, I'll wind up my class. Smile is the biggest jewel people. Keep smiling. Thank you.